Hey coach, in this video, we're going to talk about how to get gym time for your basketball training business. My name is Nick Aldero, and I'm a client success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. If you're looking to connect with me after you see this video for a free call, you could text me the word GROW to 732-908-2315. So text me the word GROW, or the best way is just to schedule a call on the calendar. There'll be a link in the description. Okay, so number one, obviously this goes with anything, is you have to be relentless. Like you got to call, call everywhere, show up, ask questions, introduce yourself. Uh, you have to put yourself out there. You can't just assume the answer is no. Let them tell you the answer is no. So anytime you see a gym, whether it's anything, you there's a gym, there's a building, and there's a gym inside. Get the number. Call them, show up, make friends with people, you know, show interest in their lives. If there's a woman who's a secretary or a man, it doesn't matter. You know, oh, is that your daughter? Is that your son? You see a picture of them. You have to be able to connect with people when you are likable and it's genuine, right? You can't, you can't be fake about it. It's genuine. Uh, people will help you more, but you have to put yourself out there. So call every single place and show up there, knock on the door, be friendly. Re being relentless, obviously it, it pays off in everything, but you can't just give up. You got to keep going. If you keep going, you will find a spot. Uh, number two is you got to stay positive after rejection because guess what? You're going to be rejected when you are trying, um, when you are trying to find a spot and people don't know you. So maybe it's an organization that runs stuff out of there and they just don't know you. They're like, who that, who is this guy? Um, so you're going to get rejected a lot. All right. So you never know who's going to come back to you though. So you got to stay positive with that rejection. Okay. And obviously, like I said before, don't let that hinder you following up, keep trying, but do it in a positive way because you never know who's going to come back to you and say, Hey, Hey coach. Oh, that a gym spot opened up. Okay. Try all different towns. So you can provide a service for gym time. So for example, let's say you know of a high school team or a middle school team or whatever type of team. You call somebody who you know is in the program or is a coach but has influence and you say, hey, he's the they're the team coach. Hey, coach, um, I'm, I'm looking to connect with different teams and, and give a free clinic, free skills clinic. Um, can I, can I give your, your, your team a free clinic for 45 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes, whatever you want to do. But that number one gets you in the door. And if they like it, you could say, Hey, I mean, I'll train your team for free. Is there any way I, that, that I could use the gym? They might trade your service for the gym time. And then you could start collecting payment from clients. No, you know, not them. You wouldn't charge them. Um, unless that was part of your plan, you could do that too. But you might be, hey, I'll train your team. I get free gym time. I train your high school team. I'm able to use the gym. Um, and you have to actually, you have to obviously give them something first. You can't just try to take, you got to go into a, the mindset of I'm going to give and, you know, I can propose this, but I'm going to ask it in a way that it is, is not selfish. You're helping them um, do something. Uh, you, I think the best place is churches. Like for example, I, I rent out a, a couple different Greek Orthodox churches. Um, it could be any church though, but churches are like the best or, um, private schools. So churches and private schools are the best. Um, they have less restrictions than the normal public school system. You can obviously try the public school system. You can call uh, a secretary there. You call, you could type in facilities, uh, in your town. And usually there's a facilities person that will speak to you. Now, it is more difficult with a public school, but it can be done. You definitely can do it. Churches are better and private schools are better because there's less restrictions. So you could call up a private school and be like, hey, they have a basketball team and say, hey, I want to do a free clinic for your, for your, your school team. And um, after that, you never know what it might turn into. Maybe they'll let you rent it if they like you. That's it's a, that's the exact thing that happened to me. I was doing training for, a, 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 I did a free training and they're like, Hey, do you want to rent the gym? And I was like, great. Yeah, let's do it. And you know, I 
I got lucky. Uh, but I put myself out there and being relentless helped that process. Um, so those are some, so those are some tips that you could do to find uh, a gym for your basketball training business. Um, if you have any questions or you want to connect, text me the word grow to 732-908-2315, or you can schedule a call on the calendar. The link will be in the description. If you're on Instagram, we can connect on Instagram. Here it is right here. Um, all right. I will catch you next video.